Hey guys, it's Chipmunk with overalls on, and I am dead. Nope, just kidding. I'm not dead. I've just been very busy with work and such. Mucho busy, mucho, mucho busy. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so yeah, what are we doing today? We are doing the Bison Bison Steve Hotel with some wonderful music from the, uh, from the Prim Orchestra here in Prim. Wow, look at that. So yes, this is a brand new mod, and by brand new I mean it's eight months old. Um, yeah, so we're doing the Bison Mod, Steve Hotel, that doesn't make any sense. This was suggested, and once again I'm going to say this again, um, if I don't say your name, don't worry, I will say it in a future video, maybe we'll be in space, maybe we'll be on a train, I don't know, but I will say your name, if you suggested this, and I didn't say your name. But for the people whose names I'm going to say, I'm going to say them right now. So this was suggested by Death2662, Shivers1999, oh Shivers, Doth K, Jazz for your soul, Rock and Roll for your balls, the Chingsta Hater. Wow. That's a racist name. The Coolest Dude 5. Fuel for Fear. And that's it. Chingsta Hater. That is inappropriate. Cass is actually slightly Chinese. But yes, this is the Bison Steve Hotel. You get to run the Bison Steve Hotel. I've discovered the Bison Steve Hotel. I swear to God, if I have not done this quest mod, I am going to kick myself in the mouth. There's no way I couldn't have done this. Oh, okay, cool. It just adds a little thing. So, yes. Um, I haven't tested this out. I usually test them out a little bit beforehand, but I am pressed for time, so let us get in here. I gotta turn that music off. That's not helping anyone. Whoop. 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 Okay, it is dark in here. I can hear crickets. So, um... Is there someone I can talk to about this? See, this is why you read readmes. Alright, I'm gonna read the readme, god damn it. Alright, my bad. I really should have done that. I'm just in a rush, because I'm a dick. But, we gotta go to Vicky and dance, and get some pants, and then ask this guy, Professor Hat in the Wall, um... We gotta ask him about the hotel, or whatever it's called. So basically, for the mod, you get to rebuild the hotel, and you get to bring your family there, and have them horribly molested. Very horrible mod. I got Ching... Steve. Biggie Van Van's Vance floor manager. Hey. 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 We're hoping that Prim will get back on his feet from the money we earned here. Is that guy always here? I'm guessing he's over here. Alright. So there's some asshole I have to talk to. You. This guy's always here, isn't he? Well, I'll be damned. Nope. I heard through the grapevine you was still a kicking. Hoped you might show up here. Yeah, kicking you in the nuts. Come again? I don't know you. What would you want with me? I have dry roasted peanuts on my desk. Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle, if you ask me. Call me Jesus. Yeah, well, I still get really bad headaches from that. Sorry, I don't have time to help you right now. Maybe later? Mm hmm? Question mark? I'll bet you do. Oh, these peanuts. The way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Stop talking Either way, about, uh, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Are we going to make a Lego Star Wars model or something? Well, that depends. Who are you and what's the job? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Whoa. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve. My yep. God. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild it. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gomorrah. Yeah, I already introduced myself to them as I came in. It means I killed them. Hell yeah. Mm. Now that's what we need around here. Somebody to take the damn Brahmin by the horns. You mean a murderer? That fucking beagle's a pussy. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brung back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that, you'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is in blueprints. What do you say? You haven't told me what I get out of the deal. Licorice? A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. And licorice. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. Or licorice. If we can get some law in this town and, and get the old place fixed back up, 
we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. And licorice. You know what that makes us? Licorice. It makes us partners. Uh Uh-oh. You ever wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Okay, I'm in, sir, and I have time to help with you because I'm a dick face. Well, hell far. I was right about you after all. Listen, it ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day just in case. Come back and see me when you got them prints and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Mm. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck and be careful. You've received Brahmin shit. Well, let's get moving. Oh, did he give me a gun? Or did he just give me ammo? Or just give me ammo. So, let us roll. Go find old Lord Blueprints. Here we go. Is there a quest? Yeah, there is. Show me all the blueprints. Not a very unique name, I suppose. Probably have way too many companions for this. Whatever. I like to have a big family. Repair it, dick face. No pictures. Why is it so dark in here? Does anyone have a candle? Hello? Room service? Room sir. Oh. Room, room service? Nope. Wrong way. Get my knife. Make some butter. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, wait, no, there's a safe right there. Sweet. I just burped. I'm gonna look at everything else. Sweet. Hell yeah. Hey, there's nothing in there. Yes. Just turn my lights on. There we go. Let's go downstairs. Coolio. So yeah, this is, um, there's two files for this mod. There's one for the main one. And then there's one for the uh, voice acting, so if you don't want voice acting for some reason, I don't know, everyone complains when there's no voice acting. But uh, yeah, so there's two separate files for this. And also when you put it in your mod load order, it's called The New Bison Steve Hotel. I was looking for Bison Steve Hotel for about an hour. Pretty fun. Where are you? Oh, you're still here. Just sit down here. Let's play. Hey, you got them blueprints yet? No, I want to know why your eyes are marbles. I found your blueprints, and the place is all clear. No more, uh, no more babies. Great job, partner. These prints give me a good idea how much more stuff we need. It looks like we should be able to salvage enough material from around the hotel to get the basic stuff done. Mm. Won't be much. Just walls and a floor, but it's a start. Some of the town folks are itching to get to work, but they won't hit a lick until we get some law in this town. The sooner we get a new sheriff, the sooner we can get to cracking. Think you can help? Don't worry. I find prime new sheriff, dick face. Well, let's hope this new sheriff fares better than the last one. And God help us if he's anything like that retard beagle. That man couldn't find his own ass sitting on a toilet seat. It's pretty bad. Hey, I need a minute or two to go over these prints and supplies, okay? Won't you go wet your whistle and come see me in a little spell? Laurie's wool safe key removed. Blue bison Steve removed. Show me all your blueprints removed. Oh man. Oh god. Alright, so uh yeah. on, please. I guess I'll go take a dump somewhere. Oh, wait, can I just talk to him again? Hey, thanks for helping out the town. We got a lot riding on this. That's great. And let's hope that things stays peaceful around here for a while. We's got work to do. We's got cake. Okay, what do we need to do next in the plan? Fill me in on the background of all this. Sorry, I don't have time to help you. Maybe later, licorice. Okay, let's do this one. Well, like I said earlier, this hotel's been in my family since long before I was born. Like it was my granny Lori's dream to restore it. After she left, I found her journal with all her plans for the restoration. Seems she and old Buck Brunson had been working on this for months. Already had most of this stuff set up when she up in R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Why, are you, why would they 
Why were they up in... He said Buck Bronson. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Well, uh, you can skip, skip ahead, but I'm probably gonna go through all these because I like all this extra stuff. Um, so yeah. When the convicts took over, it just broke her spirit like a wild bronc. Just couldn't take it no more. Well, sometimes we bend, sometimes we break, I reckon. Suppose she didn't believe she'd ever see her dream fulfilled and this place reopen. So she give up and let out for the West. Maybe if I can get word to her what we're doing, she'll come back. I don't know, though. I'm pretty sure the convicts are only out of the jail for like a, like a week or a month. I don't know. I was expecting something like she got pregnant or something and she wanted to raise her baby in a canyon or something. Okay, what do we need to do next? He said Buck Bronson. Who's that? Is some kind of cowboy who talks to horses? Yep. Texas Buck Brunson, to be more precise. Excuse me. High stakes poker player, businessman, and all around wheeler dealer if it ever was one. Hmm. Here it is, some kind of adventurer back in the day, too. He's got a nice place up in North Vegas. His niece Anna keeps the place up while he's gone. He said he was an adventurer. I like that word. Yep. Not too unlike yourself, huh? Mm. Don't know too much, but he used to do his share of prospecting up in Arizona. But then the Legion took over most of the area, and he settled down around here. He is getting a mite too long in the tooth to be doing that stuff anymore anyhow. So, when he got Anna, he settled down quite a bit. Hey, she's also working with us on this project. Well, how do She's got a few connections, and she's haggling out some deals for our supplies. I mean, she's a whore. You'll want to get to know her for sure. That yeah, means I'm going to pay for her. You mentioned Anna. Who's that? Is she a whore? Pretty little thing. Yeah. Yep, yeah, she's keeping up his place while he's away on one of his poker runs to New Reno. You'll be meeting her soon enough, I expect. That's code for she's a whore, and you're going to bang her. What kind of stuff did they already have lined up? People? Most everything needed to finish the job. Blueprints, furniture, equipment, custom casino gear. Chocolate bars. This even says we're getting uh, coup tree mints, whatever the hell that is, from Michelangelo's. Huh. Of course, you already knew about them blueprints. I'm a still studying on what all else we need. I'll let you know about each thing we need as I figure them out, okay? Sir, I'm time to help you out. <laughs> Why would I do that? Okay, what do we need to do next in the plan? You want me to go to Burger King and pick up some coffee or something? Well, now that we got a new sheriff, the workers can finish the demo and start getting the inside fixed up. Mm. Glad these town folk need something to do, because with all the help we got, it shouldn't take too long. But the next thing we need to do is get all the lights installed and back on. I think we can scrounge up plenty of the basic lights from around the hotel, but I just don't think anything we can dig up will work for the casino. For that, we just need something a lot nicer. What do you have in mind? I've been going through some of Grandma's journals and I found something interesting. Looks like old Buck Brunson had some lights ordered from some feller up in Vegas, but I ain't never heard of it. Oh, if we can find him and turn in this here order, they should be ready to ship if I read this right. Old Buck's niece, Anna, might know who this feller is. So you need to hightail it up to her and see what she knows. Okay, I'll see what I can dig up in this order. Hey, one last thing. Be sure and bring me a receipt. Don't know if we can trust this fella or not. Yes, receipts. The contracts of the world. S see if anything Anna knows anything about the lighting shipment order. Alrighty. So, I can tell I am going to be shooting a lot of people. Quests. Bam. We can rebuild him. That's funny. See if Anna knows anything about the lighting shipment order. I'm probably just going to have to go to Michael Michelangelo's. Take a dump on his face. God damn it, Buck. God damn it. Shh, be quiet. Stop talking to your mom. I'm trying to sleep. Alright, I'm awake. The same robots on the strip? I seen one or two of them roll past the That's the right way. This is definitely not the right way. Let's go. This is the wrong way. Whenever I uh, drive in my rocket car and the GPS tells me to go left, I automatically go right just to show it. Oh, god damn it, really? 
Alright, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get there, so you don't need to see me walking and talking and janking and banking. Alright, this seems to be the place. Very nonchalant, very open. There's some... Um, you can do your dry cleaning over there if you want. There's a washing machine. It's the poop house. It's very big, but it's, uh... Necessary. I would so rob this place. I would rob the crap out of it. Shut up, phone. Hello? Hello? Ring, ring. Hello? Ring, ring. They need bells. That's what this game needs. What's that radio? Uh -huh. There it is. Thank God. Oh, shit, this is the 8 radio house, isn't it? This is pretty cool. This is actually very, very well done. This is amazing. I'm just gonna look around, steal stuff maybe. Where's the other bat? Where is it? What is this? It's a little car. <gasps> Oh god, someone's text messaging me. Thanks for the deal. Ding 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 ding. Mm, watch out, Mr. Carter's wire, that's a bike. Last off. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I wanted to have more fun. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is awesome. You see this? You see this? Look at that. Fine. All right, let's go upstairs. Whoa! Holy Jesus! Are there like babies buried here? Is this a baby cemetery? I'm guessing maybe you get to collect guns and put them in here. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, that's actually very awesome. And look, it's not clean. Oh, Jane Russell, put some clothes on, you whore, and get off the hay. It's not a bed. Alright, let's go upstairs. Enough with this. What the fuck? Why? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Chaos, that is the creepiest thing you've ever done. Oh my god. Oh, hey. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm gonna cut. Alrighty, so it's been 38 hours in the real world. Just joking. Oh. Are you, hey. are you admiring your baby? Your baby cemetery? It's quite nice if I do say so. Uh, I've killed quite a few children in my time, too. Mind if I get a little closer? Hmm. Gonna put the mic up. Alright. Oh, so you're a woman, so you don't have a voice. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? I guess, I don't know. They either didn't have a voice for the woman? I don't know, whatever. Do you send me to see if you recognize anything about the shipment tape? You know, you know anything about it? Wow, is this place amazing? What is this place? It's amazing. Well, at this place, it belongs to my Uncle Buck. He's headed to New Reno to play poker. Wow. It's got most everything. An aid, nice bed, bunks, upstairs, kitchen for cooking, bathrooms for bathing, and... You can make stuff upstairs if you got the knowing, and it's got plenty of lockers to keep stuff in, like dead babies. I think that old terminal might still work if you want to use it to help store your dead babies. Say, I got word you were helping us pick up where dead babies were. If you need a place to stay while you're up here in town, you're welcome to stop any time. Just make yourself at home, come in, go as please, you won't bother me at all. I heard your uncle won this place in a poker game. Pretty high stakes, huh? You ain't seen half of it. They are the highest of high stakes players in the heavy. It's nothing to see a million captain with this issue, but they play very they were valued as cats. The man who won this play with them get <laughs> So the guy that lost this place on a poker hand, like I said, they will play for about anything. Uncle Buck staked him in a game one night and he went on a bad run. No, he didn't have anything left but this place, so Uncle played him heads up for the day to pay him back. 
He didn't even have the guy owed him the money and he staked it. But Uncle beat him with his fists and then he threw him downstairs and he said, Don't you get near my wife. The guy couldn't believe my uncle had a mustache and a pair of screwdrivers in his back pocket. But that was a while ago. After that, let's talk about something else, bitch. Okay, where do you want? What about you? Who, me? Not much reason to tell. I stay here and I'm also a man. I try to do a little trading from time to time to keep a little change in my pocket. Get some of my stuff from a cr friend at Crimson Caravan that gives me pretty good prices. Got another friend at Gun Runners who can get me some real hard to find stuff sometimes. Like licorice? But I know I have high prices so I don't really have a booming business. I'm okay with that. I'm trying, not trying to get rich. I just want to sell stuff. Where's your mom and dad? Dead. Daddy said he would rather die than be a slave. I was too little to remember, remember a lot of it, but Uncle told said me some things. He said Daddy had to pay some, somebody from NCR to sneak me here to Uncle. I don't really want to talk about that now, okay? Alright, let's talk about it. What's a big room over there? The one with the furnace. Uncle Buck loved collecting old stuff from before the war. He called it picking. Most everybody else calls it prospecting. He said he was preserving our history one piece at a time. When he got this place, he wanted to turn it into a private display room for his collection. He got the stands all set up, but never got around to putting anything out on them. You're welcome to use them, too, if you want to. Holy Jesus. He said your uncle's on a poke trip. You sound worried. Are they dangerous? Sometimes they can be. You can't find a decent game in a casino anymore, so all the players have to go on the ground and dig holes. The casino take a rake just kept getting higher and higher. They were the only ones making any money, so the players, they were like, let's go somewhere else and we could make some shopping carts. There's always a fortune on those tables, and that kind of money can attract any number of gangs and does look for a quick score. You know, some licorice or something? There's always plenty of security measures, and you have to know the password to get in every game. It's usually licorice or teddy bear or something like that. What do they play? They usually play in people's homes, abandoned warehouses, and places that won't draw too much attention, like giant baby factories. They keep on the move all the time and switch up the places they play, and sometimes they put mustaches on and take wigs off. They hope the casino bosses and gangs can't figure out where they are. The bosses don't like people who gamble away from their casinos, but can't shut them down when they can't find them. Aw, oh, that'd be so cool if I could, like... I don't know, get, like... Something, so I could go after them, give the casino, whatever. It keeps me here to recognize something about a baby. I know it's my uncle. See these initials etched into it right here? That BB is for Big Baby, but I don't recognize this NS right here. Wait, it's gotta be Nevada Slim. He and Uncle were old poker buddies. They even started the new po Mojave Poker Series together with Stewie and Pearson Stewie. And a bit of falling out, I'm afraid Buck bluffed him off a real big hand one night. Thousands of caps at stake. Buck was a little drunk and showed Slim his cards just for spite. Made Slim really mad, like a little baby. Sounds to me like Buck play outplayed him fair and square. Yeah, did, but, but Slim didn't like to be bluffed like that. Said Buck was making fun of him. Of course, Buck wasn't, but it didn't matter to Slim. Slim said the friendship was over. Swore to get his money back somehow and stormed out. I don't think they have spoken since, but Buck had out for New Reno a day or so later. It's a shame, because they had been through a lot together and were old, very old. He's probably drunk, gambling, and most likely both. He always said he liked Gamora. Alright, I'm heading to Gamora. Goodbye. Okay, I stop teasing Mr. Cuddlesworth. He can't use stairs because he's an idiot. You know that. Where's Jeremy McGoolberry? What's with these stairs? Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Should I drink out of the bathroom. Boom. Oh, there you go. Oh, God. His name changed again. I like all these pictures. These are all really cool. These are new. New things are cool. Except for... Wait, no, those are different. This guy likes big horns a lot. <gasps> oh, god damn it. What is this? This is awesome. I keep burping. Ugh. I'm burping. Ooh, I don't know. Yay. <gasps> Railgun. You can't use. Little baby airplane. Sleep for an hour. Get her get her little baby strength back. 
Boom. All right, so let's go talk to this guy at uh, Gamora. Tell him what's up. Ask him for some Oreos or something. Wait, where's this taking? Don't mind that, uh, that Rex symbol. Don't mind that. He's, he's definitely dead. He's not, he's definitely dead. Oh, my eyes twitching. Boom. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, sir, I need your guns. I'm gonna put them in my pants and lick them. And then when you get them back, they're gonna be all wet and stuff. It's gonna be nasty. Welcome back to Gamora. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. You'll get... What's my holdout weapon? Like, like a straw? Like I have nothing. I'm gonna need like a knife. Hey, I know you, Nevada Slim. Do you have a voice? Because you're a man. Let me just sit down here with you. Very slowly. Can you see I'm busy? What the hell you want? I want to know why you're a man. I'm here to call this call on the shipping order. S ship the items to the Bison Steve Hotel, please. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Let me see that. Mm -hmm. What the... How in the hell you get this? This belongs to that no good son bitch Buck Brunson. Okay, that's that, that that's great. And let me guess, you and Steve are trying to finish the job she and Buck couldn't finish. Uh, po possibly, sir. Can you just point me in the right direction? Well, that order ain't no good no more. So you shit out of luck. Besides, you don't look like that asshole Brunson know how. That's his order. Why all the hostility towards Buck, you dickface? Well, we used to be, but ain't no more. That line, no good hornswoggler can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. I heard you had a fallout. <laughs> no pun intended. Poker hand? You think this is all about that goddamn poker hand? You must be dumb on a bag of hammers. The son bitch double crossed me on a business deal I was working on with a fella from up north. Undercut me and took my contract. Cost me a shitload of money, too, so fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Give me my shipment. You got Brahmin shit in your ears? Maybe. I already told you that order ain't no good no more. Since that zombie swindled me, I lost my shipping caravan and I can't deliver shit. So even if I had a way to deliver, then prices ain't no good no more. The price has gone up. But you still have the lights, right? Couldn't Crimson Caravan deliver them? Yeah, I reckon I do, but you ain't getting them for no less than 1500 cap. Like I said, the price has gone up. It'll cost me that much to hire the Crimson Caravan and ship them and make up for my trouble. Okay, here's the five bajillion caps. So you weasel out of a deal. Should be great for business when work gets out of this. Look, Grandpa, that it was paid for, so we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I break your legs. I don't have the money. I have to go. Let's do intelligence. Bam. Now hold on now just a damn minute. We can keep this little misunderstanding between you and me, can't we? Maybe. I contact a buddy over at Crimson Caravan and get him to pick up the lights later today. You should have them tomorrow. I expect you'll be wanting this hill receipt. Now get out of my face. Get out of my face. Dun, 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 and into my car. Welcome back to Gamora. Shut Find up. yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Your family. I got spurs that yippee yay. Alright, cool. I am yawning because I am a child. And let's go down here. Boom, my sister. Sweet. Actually, he's not in the hotel yet. It's beautiful, isn't it, children? Oh, where are you going? Get back here, Jerry. Jerry! Jerry! Jerry, where are you going? 
He's looking for his past. Oh, he found it. He went to go grab a cream soda or something. Come on, Jerry. You're so silly. You goofy, Jerry. You goofy. Blank screen. Hey, everyone. Have you, have you won anything on this damn machine? I highly doubt you have. You got anything new, Furby? Yeah, I got this Furby. Okay, great. According to this, the lights should ship in a day. Won't take long to install them once they're here. Hey, I think the boys just got done with the inside. Just walls on the floor right now, but we'll have the lights on soon. You can have a look inside if you want. Just be careful, it's dark in there. Okay, we'll do. You mentioned furniture earlier? Yep, sure did. We already rounded up most of the stuff we need from the hotel. But right now, we ain't got no booths for the restaurant. But I do have a lead. I found a note from Buck's poker buddy, Stu. Seems he's got an ex-fiend working for him. The guy says there's some booths down in Vault 3, but it's hairy in there with them druggies and all. The note says they'll go get him if we clear the place out and get Motor's briefcase. I already sent word to Stu to get ready. You in? I will kill all of them. Oh, yeah. Stewie sent a little care package he thought might help you. Use them if you see fit. Here, this note will fill you in on more details. Good luck, and I'll see you when you get back. Incoming care package. All right. Fan motor runner vaults in beach. Move along, please. Ooh, Sin City Armor. What is this? What is this? <sighs> oh, yeah. Cool. What is this? That'd be nice. I don't know, some armor. So, ah, uh, it's just... Uh, I got excited. I thought it was a new texture. It's just new stats. I don't know if this is retextured. Might be. Might not be. Alright, I'm gonna go inside and look at the floors and... Wow, it is very, very dark in here. Jesus Christ. They, they just, how did they reconstruct all of this in like a day? Jesus Christ, the whole layout is different. Gift shop enabled. All right, kind of weird. Um, yeah, because the whole layout's different, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, no, this is completely different. That's kind of stupid, that the whole... Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Like, that doesn't make any sense. The whole bottom floor was just reconstructed. Alright, whatever. It's their mod. So, I don't know if I've killed everyone in Vault 3, but I will be finding out very soon. Maybe I'll finally get to shoot some people in this mod. You ready to die? Hi everyone. Oh, so I can drop their cores. They're hardy for Mr. Cuddlebeer. Listen, Cass. Stop complaining about the guns I give you. Good job, everyone. I like the hustle. You're just in time for your She's fine. Lay down for a minute. You'll be fine, ma'am. Jerry? Jerry, why does your name keep changing? I know it's because I keep turning the game off, but still. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Jerry McCoolberry. Yeah, for good measure, let's kill this, this man over here. He's like, oh god, I didn't mean to come over here. Just wanted some Pringles. And now you're dead. You can have all the Pringles you want in hell. I hope there's no one in here. Ooh, someone's head. You wanna press the button? Nah, you don't. 
Ding dong. Hello. Don't mind me. J Jerry. It's Jerry. Jerry Shore gets some. Jerry Shore gets some respect, okay? <laughs> Cherry really wants to kill people. Have to wait for the all, all the all ready. Jerry's book. Oh, hi there. Oh, yeah, we're the uh, pizza guy. <laughs> Me. Whoa! Whoops! It was a matrix jump. He went unconscious though after he hit that. Pizza, pizza guy's here. You thought you could hide? Pizza, pizza's here. Great, now it's gonna be overcooked. I hope you're happy, man. Can't blame that on me. I'm trying to get here before my 30 minutes runs out. Sorry, cuddles. Jesus Christ. No prison is for me. Birds that jingle, blind old tingle. Fiends. Jesus, how much more of a hypocrite can you be? Nice dogs, I love them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's like, you should have shot my dog. Like, Let me get up. Oh, it's on now. I'm motor runner. No. No. Yes. Boom. And now the headless dog will become king. Come on, Gashbone. Fucking wishbone wannabe. All right, everyone, show's over. Stupid briefcase. Where's your stupid briefcase? Was he going on business deals? Where's this pillow? Oh, it's right here. Whoops. Pencil guys. Gotta take that. All right, cool. Let us roll. Let's go back. To Jamaica, Queens. Pizza's here. Don't mind me, I'm just on fire. If I let someone on fire and they were still shooting at me, I think I'd definitely probably stop shooting and move to them. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's get out of here. Fucking magicians live in there. Magicians. 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 Let's go. Here we go. Inside a little tiny blanket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I live inside. I live inside of a blanket, Ruby Nash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. All right, we killed a whole number of people just for the sake of capitalism. Hope you're happy. Oh, oh, wait. Is he gonna sit in a different seat? Is he gonna ask someone out? Move along, please. Listen, Crimshim. Nope, he's gonna sit over here. Let me 
can take a seat right here. Hey. You got anything new for me? Yeah, this is a uh, iPod 98. If and it was anybody else but you, I'd be shocked. But you've exceeded my expectations. Them booths should be on the way. Can't wait. Hey, we got the lights on while you has gone. Oh, great. You got to go check it out when you can. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to get that furniture all set up. Dude. Anyhow, we's halfway home now. If you bear with me a second, I'll fill you in on what we need for the steakhouse. We'll get a break real soon. Oh, I can't wait for some steak as I hit the mic with my hand. Well, not so much equipment. Buck already had most of that stored here. We're just missing the grills. But one time I was up visiting with Anna, and we was sneaking around over by H&H &H Tools. We seen all kind of greats and stuff around there. We might just get lucky and find the size we need inside. If not, I think we can get them cut down if need be. Can you take a look? Well, sure there, partner. Hey, I heard that place is full of traps, so watch out. I'll be right here when you come back. I heard that place is full of traps, so I'll stay here and look at this table. Good luck. Howdy. Howdy. I need to a couple now. I see he's wearing your boots. You're a whore. Alright, let's go.